Right, so a lot of uh, newcomers to the world of pressure washing, and most people will have a setup like this. Uh, some people will even just manage to run a business with these quite successfully for a long period of time. So it is a petrol pressure washer. This one is uh, uh, 15 litres a minute, 200 bar, I believe. Um, you can get varying uh, pumps on these, and you can also get varying sized engines. So uh, a petrol engine one can probably take you up to something like 25 litres a minute, 300 bar, something like that, but then you're paying more money. These are around about 15, 1800 pounds in the UK, and to get them to work, you will need a small amount of things. A wheelie bin, which you can buy off of eBay, a few other little bits and pieces inside that I'll show you. Uh, a hose, a, a hot water, a cold water hose rather, um, and a hose for filling up the, the bin. And we use the bin because uh, out of the tap, you might only get something like six or eight, maybe 10, 11 liters a minute. And this will use more. So you need a buffer, otherwise you'll starve the pump of water and you can damage it. So that's why nearly everybody uses a wheelie bin or something similar. You can use any, any kind of plastic tub. It could be bigger, it could be smaller. Obviously if you've got low water pressure and you've got a bigger bin, that'll help you because you've got more water to start with, which means you'll run off before you run out. Um, and if you've got very good water pressure, then perhaps a small bin will do. Most of the jobs I've ever done, this is absolutely fine. Um, I've got bigger equipment now, but I do use this from time to time for washing down on bigger jobs or occasionally, or some small jobs, or as a backup if I have a breakdown. So, just thought I'd run you through how I use mine, how I've set it up, and uh, how sort of quick and easy it is to use. Um, you've got three hoses, essentially one that goes to the garden tap, that plugs into the tap. What I've done here, is I've got a short piece which I connect with one of these little connectors, hose lock kind of thing. That keeps it together nice and tidy. That plugs into your wall. This one plugs into the back of the wheelie bin. And you see I've got two nozzles at the top. Goes in there. And in the inside the bin, I've got a very basic valve that you might find in any plumber's merchants. When it gets full or near, nearly full, it will stop it. So there's three outlets on this bin one at the bottom, two at the top. So now, if you turn the tap on, that's filling up. That's the most important part of the morning. Get that on, get that filling up first thing. Now, two more hoses. This one next to the bottom of the bin, and this is the internal feed for the pump. Now, very easy, set it up at the bottom because obviously once it's full, gravity will help push that water through. So you've got a couple of hundred litres of water in there, that's a fair bit of weight pushing through, and it sort of means that the, water, the pump's got to do less work in it, in essence. Uh, it's worth having a wider hose on that one to get more water through. You can get bigger fitments. People get a bit funny, you know, they get a bit special about it, but um, you know, realistically, your normal size hose fittings for this kind of machine is plenty. The next hose I've got, we then use that piece, stick him in there. He connects up to there, around the back here, goes back in there. When you let go of the gun, this recirculates, which means it keeps the pump cooler. That will then go back in there, go back into there to be reused. And because if this was full and you let go of the trigger and this was recirculating, this won't overflow because we're just using the same piece of water around in a circle. And because it's going in at the top, coming out the bottom, that's cold water flushing around and keeping it cool all the time. And that's the reason why I've got these two inlets at the top and one at the bottom. So the one at the bottom is your cold water that goes to the machine. This clear thick hose is your recycling. And this smaller hose is the one that will go off to your garden tap, turn that on full. 
So ideally you want this full before you start. The final piece of the puzzle, and obviously this is just a very small hose that I've got lying in the shed because I can't be bothered to get my 50 meter hose out. This would be your hose, which you connect to your machine. And then from your long hose, which is now just a little one, you attach your pistol or whatever it is that you're going to use. You can use flat surface cleaners with these machines. Make sure you get the right nozzles for your, uh, you know, for, your, for, what you, for what you're doing. I'll do another video probably about nozzle choices. Uh, you can run a turbo nozzle on this, you can run fan jets on this, and uh, you can use it for cleaning and washing down. Absolutely fine, no problem. And that is basically the quick setup of a cold water machine. And I've done it like this because it's very fast to set up and knock down in the morning and in the evening. That just clicks off of there, those click off, clicks off, clicks off, clicks off. You empty that water bin out, put that back together with this hose. Get that wound up, that goes in the van goes in the van and then what I do is I just reel these up, put them inside my wheelie bin carefully so as not to use them, lose them. There you go, now I can walk that to the van as well and I'm all packed up nice and easy. When I store this and I'm not using it, keep the lid open that's going to go really mouldy in there and the only other thing that you'll need to know about these machines is that some come mostly now come with a, with a, a, a pressure adjuster which is just literally winding in I believe is more pressure winding out is less and you can put a, a, um, a separate uh, uh, visual for your pressure on there pressure gauge Literally unscrew a little bolt there, screw it in, good to go. Runs with petrol, there's a gearbox fluid in there which needs to be changed uh, periodically, it's very easy. It's undoing a nut on the back, let it out, put the new one in, pop, and then you, there's a little sight level on the side. It's, you want to go halfway, there's a dot in the middle, you want to go halfway. So these are very easy to use, low maintenance. To be honest with you, they're so cheap, I mean, 1,500, 1,800 quid for a machine like this. If you can't make enough money to be buying a brand new one of those every year and selling your old one on eBay to someone else that needs a cheaper one, then you probably need to do a different business because this little setup will literally cost you, with a hose, less than two grand. And you can go and make 500 pound a day. So four days, you've got your money back, two weeks, you're making hay so um yeah there you go uh i think it's worth putting your logos on everything this typically will be at the front of the job most likely got your logos all over everything people know who you are they'll google you you might get more, more business um likewise you could even set up a little like a little board on the back here with your name and address on it or something like that make it really obvious who you are but if for easy free advertising People will always watch what you're doing because you're being noisy. So, you know, if they can see who you are, chances are they might call, might call you. They might call you to complain, but they might call you for a job. Anyway, there you go. Just a little video that I wanted to do for a little while now on these basic machines uh, and specifically how I've set up, set up this wheelie bin. Uh, I'm just going to do a little close up for you. So inside the wheelie bin, right there's your float that goes up and down, that's your in, the water goes in there, and then your recycle goes in the second one, and at the bottom you've got the outlet that comes out there, so you're gravity fed. Very easy to install, it's literally just your, um, uh, your bits from your uh, hose lock, and uh, get the right size drill bit, drill through. I, I used a, you know, one of those sort of wide wooden uh, wood drill bits, yeah. I think it was a 20, I don't know, 25, 25 mil. Straight through, nice and easy, and that's uh, that's how you do it. So, um, 
hope that's been of use to you and uh, any questions or uh, anything like that just uh, put in the uh, links below and uh, I'll help where I can. Have a good day.